Welcome everybody to episode 2 of my Don't Starve Reign of Giants Let's Play. Uh, we are picking up where we left off in the last episode. Uh, I want to come up this way and continue exploring around and then eventually we will figure out where these two connect. So let's just go ahead and keep exploring. Uh, it doesn't really look like I need any other things. That's the one we found already. See, so I have a slot for these already, so I might as well. Not gonna hurt. At the very least, it'll turn into rot, which we can use later. I am gonna need a backup torch. Right now, I'm just gonna follow along the coastline. I would really, really like to find a swamp. Relatively somewhere, hopefully somewhere convenient. Like, near Pig King would be nice. Where's Pig King? Pig King was here. Although, there is this wormhole. So, if the swamp is, like, over in this area, that wouldn't be too bad either. Like, up here, possibly over in this direction. That would be a decent wormhole to Pig King. What is this? Oh, logs. Which I can't carry. Because it has too many things. Um, I guess I'll put that down for right now. Because I'll take these. And do that. And then I can do that. So I can at least benefit from two of them. And I've got a campfire for crafted. Which is nice. Ooh, clockworks. Ooh, it's the portal. Please don't see me, Bishop. Don't do it. Oh, please don't. Just go back to bed. You're lucky I don't get to sleep. Oh. Uh, I do want to go down here just to make sure I got it all. I know it's not going to connect to anything, but it'll bug me otherwise. Alright. Let's get ready to swap. And... Torch. Alright. Keeps going down. I do need to be ready to make another torch here quickly. Oh no, that's not where I want to be. Especially not as that's happening. Okay. They made me jump. I don't know why. It's just a scooter. Oh, I'm stuck. My camera angle got turned and I'm stuck. So, uh, there we go. Are you still following me, punk? Oh, there we go. Let's get back over to the edge. Grasslands. Not exactly what we want. 
but I do have spots. Is that a set piece? Or just a weird thing? Oh, no, but there's another... So I got a triple Mac tusk. That's awesome. Right next to a tall bird nest. Just the one. I'll leave you be for right now. Ooh. Hmm. Oh no. That's not what I wanted. Why won't you break the thing? What? Is that not the right tool? Can I not take these? Please tell me they don't show up on the map. Okay. Gosh darn it. Well, no! I almost did it again. Alright, so I'll put this one here. And then I don't need this torch. On the other side, I'll put a uh what's it called? A trap. Right about here. placement in correlation to the wormhole is relatively the same. Well, that's kind of lame. They, like I could take either, I don't know, maybe that'll be useful. I don't know why I would need to like, I don't know. That may prove to be useful, or it may not. Because both ends are pretty close to one another. But as far as, like, distance covered, it's pretty significant. Anyway, let's go back. And we will finish exploring this direction. I need more grass. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. Now we can head back. I don't know why I can't break those. It doesn't make any sense to me. Alright. More deciduous forest, it looks like. grass. Let's go ahead and eat up a little bit. Oh, so yeah, I was I was saying in the the very end of the last episode. I don't know how many of you guys watched it that far, um, but my mods weren't working that episode, um, and I wasn't. I didn't know if I was in autumn or not, and I really hate spring spawns, so I was gonna um, go back and redo those first four days. Uh, but it turns out we are in autumn. So, I didn't have to do that, which is awesome. Because we got a triple Mac Tusk. I would really be sad if I had to, to restart. Ooh, we found Maxwell's door if we ever want to go to adventure mode.
still have not found our swamp. But it looks like, oh no, that's just where that connects there. All right. But it does look like there's another wormhole up here. Is that the case or was that just the tree? Might have been to the tree. Uh, we'll definitely grab these. Oh, there's a wormhole though. And why don't I grab the grass? Because I will be using it right now, in fact. So this one I'm going to put here. And let's hop in. And drop it right here. Ooh, we got a desert. Oh, man. That goes way down here, huh? Well, in that case, I might hop back through and come back this way. I definitely need to find some green caps, though. Grab the food while I'm here. And it's always good to keep up on your supplies. Ooh, I found beefalo. That is quite important. Um, oh, shoot. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna make another trap. And collect some more grass. Build my torches. Just do one of them for right now. Do I only have two uh, beefalo? That's kind of sad. Go ahead and craft the extra. And let's head back over here to the corner. Mm, I hear more poop. I think that there's probably more. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, those are not the same. And from the looks of things from that wormhole, uh, this grassland turns into a desert which is very nice for no reason other than tumbleweeds. There are other reasons that the desert is nice, but tumble tumbleweeds are a reason in and of themselves. Alrighty. Ooh, we got ourselves a paved road, huh? Ooh, and the farm with the potato thing. I don't want the shovel, really. This is a really convenient place for this. Right next to the beefalo. biome and the desert right down here. Hmm. 
Not that that's a super great starting base in general, but it's got a lot of the, the basics that you'd need. Is it just a tiny little desert? Plenty of old goats, though. Okay, I I followed the road and quickly just trailed off. Let's go back and explore the edges. Got a little bee biome here. Careful not to bring a barrager barrager there because he will just wreck all of it. You guys aren't mating, right? Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have a spot for your poop at the moment. Hold on, am I barefoot? Okay, no, I've got shoes. For some reason, it looked like I was barefoot. They're just the same uh, color as her as her skin, so. Man, jumping through all these wormholes did a number on me. She's got one of the highest sanities, but even still. Let's see if I can't pick some of these to... I don't want to pick them all. Just some... Just to raise the sanity up a little bit. Hi, uh, well, what is it? It's Wally, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. of food. That went a ways more than I was expecting it to. And it looks like this continues on into desert. Um, now, the question is, do I want to go through the desert? Or do I want to come back this direction and keep exploring? feel like I should probably at least map out the edge of the desert to get it done because I don't know when I'm going to be back down here. Wow, that was obnoxious. And yes, I know you need food. So let's go ahead and eat. One more? There we go. And we'll eat the seeds. Now, I don't really have a whole lot of room, or I would be grabbing a bunch of these tumbleweeds. But some of the stuff I can take... And some of this stuff on me that I'm willing to sacrifice for some of the items that you get out of tumbleweeds. So I, sh I should collect them at least. Go 
Come here. Come here. Nothing. Alright. I have one torch at 81%. It'll last me a decent bit of the night, but not the whole way. Yummy butterfly wings. Alright. That's a really big desert. How does it keep going? Oh man. Oh, is it finally finally cutting off? Sure looks like it. appears to be the end. And now it very well may connect into something over here, but I don't think that that's super likely. But now we know that we have got a massive desert over here. So that's cool. So, let's go ahead and head back around. Luckily, oh, but it's nighttime. So I'm definitely going to need another torch. Because they, uh, they deplete faster in the rain. It wouldn't surprise me if I needed two torches. snap so gold rocks in desert biomes means hound bounds and I don't know if you heard it or not but there there was a bark I'm just glad that they didn't notice me I should be all right. Just grass in that one, huh? All right, getting pretty close. And is it just a regular blow dart? Oh, it's a sleep dart. Oh, a single sleep dart does not help me very much. Ooh. The wires definitely do, though. And back. There. It's a little better. Those twigs. Those twigs again. Anything in you? Nope. So these wires are a uh, a pig king trinket. All right. So now I think we should cut across and uh, see what's over in this direction and 
it might do the same thing that it, this does here and kind of here um, or it might be more like this where it just like opens out into a, a whole new area so let's find out and I'll grab another flower just because I have yet to see any green caps. Ooh, my, uh... My turkey legs are going bad. There we go. A little bit of a waste of a campfire, but... Actually, you know what? Just to keep this from being rot a little while longer... pretty much everything that we would need to do a regular playthrough. So if I wasn't Wicker Bottom, and I was not as worried about finding the swamp, I would set up probably like right in this area. Because both wormholes are pretty close that will send me over towards Pig King. And I've got a touchstone right here. And I'm not going to have to go super far for my triple mac tusk in the winter. Beefalo are also right here. That's a little close for beefalo, so maybe I'll I'd bump it to like this area. Maybe burn this down and build it here. But I still don't know where my swamp's at. My swamp could be all the way over here. A swamp could be up here. I could have a, like, basically non-existent surface swamp. And if that be the case, then we'll have to start exploring the caves. No, I wanted to eat that. Um, and we'll have a few different options for the caves. Because they, each different, um cave that you so like at pig king there's one right somewhere yeah here so this is a cave entrance uh there are typically three of them around the world and each one is its own cave system so we've got we've got plenty of of opportunity ooh a beefalo thing. Now, you see this chest right here. This chest is trapped. It's going to set all of this on fire. So, I am not going to touch this. I am going to let that be for right this second. Because I don't have the inventory space to collect all of that stuff. Oh. Uh, I do not need that on anymore. Let's go ahead and keep exploring around because I really, really do need this one. It is incredibly crucial to uh, Wicker Bottom as uh, these are two of the things that she can do. Uh, she So she writes books and they do special things. This one calls, like, fills the screen with birds. And then the Applied Horticulture, the other book that she can just make without any uh, research, will grow, instantly grow any crop on screen. So that's super nice. Um, she's got another one that will summon 
a permanent tentacle field. So, like, in the swamp, there's the tentacles. You can make, like, a kill box just full of them and walk bosses and, and hounds and stuff through that, and it's a super easy way to deal with them. And... I, I don't know, I don't remember what all of the other books do, but it takes papyrus, which you get from reeds, which you find in the swamp. Oh, snap. I wonder what happens during a full moon with these guys. That would be interesting. Leave me alone. Some marble turf here. Mm. Oh, this is back up at the top. All right. So that did not um, connect to anything. You can't really see it there, but we know what's there. All right, well, unfortunately, I still have not found the swamp. Bunch of Maxwell statues, though. But um, it is that time of the episode, everybody. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you again in the next one. Mm, bye!